Previously in a heated duello match, Tom is fouled by the opposing team's captain, Energizing Mash. Mash retaliates with mind-blowing power, earning a record-breaking 999 points. Awarded a silver coin, Mash dramatically quits the team. Classmate Lance traps Finn, Tom, and Lemon, challenging Mash to a high-stakes duel. Mash is overwhelmed by Lance's gravity magic until a picture of Lance's ill sister is revealed. A revealing flashback shows Anna's magic-eating disease. After his defeat, Lance gives Mash a silver coin. Mash is left concerned about his chances in a real fight, questioning his abilities and what the future holds. Before we continue, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on the newest anime. At Easton Magic Academy, students are sorted into three dorms based on their characteristics. Alder for the courageous, Orca for the wise, and Lang for the ambitious. Mesh, accompanied by Finn, enjoy the peaceful day until they realize they haven't submitted their potions assignments and panic ensues. And just as they worry about their neglectful behavior, Lance appears out of nowhere. Lance scolds them, claiming that their laziness tarnishes the dorm's reputation. Mesh then reveals a pendant with the sister's picture, which emits a blinding light that blows Lance away. Lance decides to lend a helping hand and guides Mash and Finn. Oh, the lengths he goes to protect their reputation. He introduces them to a peculiar creature called a Mandragora, explaining that by silencing their screams, Mandragoras become universal ingredients in potions. Lance demonstrates how to use Quintus, a magical item that calms the Mandragora and silences it. Finn gives it a try, but the Mandragora keeps screaming even after using Quintus. Mash attempts his turn, but his Mandragora screams grow even louder. Lance advises Finn to focus his magic on a single point, and after a few tries, Finn successfully calms the Mandragora, lulling it to sleep. While Mash's Mandragora goes insane, causes chaos, and grows in size, as it attacks Mash, he courageously slaps it, effectively knocking it out and triumphantly proclaiming that he managed to silence it after all. Who needs magic when you have the power of a slap, right? With the Mandragora silenced, Lance reveals that they transform into regular herbs. He teaches them how to cut and cook the Mandragoras to create a compound. Finn finds the process too complicated, but Mash confidently claims he understands. However, every time Mash follows Lance's instructions, his compound ends up becoming a cream puff. Lance is dumbfounded having watched every step, yet unable to comprehend how Mash consistently ends up with a cream puff. Meanwhile, Walbert grows concerned about Mash's well-being and ponders the upcoming Aldorm off-campus class. However, Dot finds himself in a confrontation with three students. In a display of sheer power, Dot effortlessly defeats them, leaving the trio bloodied and bewildered. Abel, a student, discusses the traits of rulers with his companion Abyss, emphasizing noble bloodline and overwhelming power. They conclude that students from Lang, not Adler, possess these traits and plan to seize coins from other dorms. The next day, the off-campus class takes place in a forest. Dot claims to be the main character, while Mash and his friends find him strange. Dot recognizes Mash and asserts that Mash is merely a side character. Lemon arrives, warning Mash to be careful and asking if she can accompany them. Dot becomes furious, insulting Mash for receiving attention from women and vowing to rid the world of attractive guys. Mash and his friends ignore Dot, further infuriating him. The teacher arrives and explains that both Adler and Lang students will participate in an exercise to exterminate forest scorpions. They must collect stones from their scorpions' foreheads, with most being worth bronze coins and a few with squared stones worth silver coins. Silva, a student from Lang, confronts Mash, but the confrontation is halted. Lance advises Mash not to engage with Silva, who has a reputation for misconduct. Mash checks his screen puff and Lance realizes that Mash's fierce look was due to the threat being in danger. Mash and Lance venture into the forest, with Lance suggesting they work together before realizing Mash has already disappeared. Mash encounters Dot, who wants to prove his superiority, but gets shocked by Mash's presence. Mash slaps him to quiet him down. Dot rescues Lauren from a threatening student, earning her gratitude and igniting his infatuation. Despite Dot's peculiarities, Lauren keeps complimenting him, fueling his excitement to impress her. Lauren reveals her love-inducing magic, but Mash remains unaffected. Dot vows to protect Lauren from Silva, who has been stalking her. Infuriated by Lauren's tears, Dot decides to confront Silva. As Silva taunts Dot, he unleashes a barrage of explosive attacks. Silva protects himself with his magic and mocks Dot's skills, overpowering him and knocking him down. 
a rock from Silva's attack inadvertently ruins the cream puff Mash was eating. Dot faces Silva's overwhelming strength and desperately searches for a way to protect Lauren. Silva proposes a challenge, endure five of his powerful hits and he will leave Lauren alone, even betting a silver coin. Dot agrees, but Silva insists that Mash must also endure the same punishment. Despite Dot's protests, he suggests taking Mash's hits as well. Dot braces himself for the first hit, and Silva unleashes his Iron Fist magic. The blow is brutal, causing Dot to cough up blood, but he refuses to stay down and endures more hits. To Dot's surprise, he withstands nine powerful blows. Fueled by Lauren's tears, Dot realizes it can't ignore a girl's distress. Silva prepares for a final, even stronger blow, but Dot miraculously remains standing. He approaches Silva, demanding that he keep his promise, but suddenly collapses. Dot urges Mash to take Lauren and escape, but Silva cruelly strikes Dot again. Lauren joins Silva's side, ridiculing Dot and expressing her dislike for stuffy guys like him. Mash intervenes, hurling a cream puff to shut Silva's mouth. Who knew desserts could be so effective at shutting people up? Calling Silva a scumbag, Mash declares that it's his turn to face the 10-hit challenge. Lance, Finn, and Lemon discuss Mash's safety and the different magic styles. Lance expresses concern about Mash facing formidable rank mages specializing in combat. Silva reveals his disdain for hypocrites and tries to slam Dot to the ground over a minor clothing mishap. Mash intervenes and attacks Silva, who retaliates with his Iron Fist magic. Mash surprises Silva by switching to his triceps magic ballista knuckle, evading Silva's assault and breaking through his iron pillars. Mesh lands a powerful punch, leaving Silva weakened and unable to continue. Mesh calmly informs Silva that he has only endured two out of ten plant hits. As a star-shaped stone-bearing scorpion appears, Silva seizes the opportunity to escape while Mesh deals with it. Mesh effortlessly dispatches the scorpion, leaving Silva anxious. Mesh suggests ending their fight, feeling sorry for Silva. In an unexpected twist, Mash briefly embraces Lauren before executing a suplex, emphasizing his equal treatment of everyone. Later, Mash meets up with Lance and the others, who are impressed by his victory over Silva and the Scorpion. Lemon asks Dot if he's alright, leading to his excitement. Dot apologizes for involving Mash and expresses gratitude, although he feels embarrassed. Lance reveals that the Long Dorm, led by the Maja Lupus, has targeted Mash. The Lying Dorm prioritizes birthright and opposes Alder Dorm members joining the Bureau of Magic. Lance suspects a coin war has begun between Alder and Lang, advising Mash to stick with his roommates and avoid Lang. The next day, Mash encounters a door, unsure whether to pull or push it. Meanwhile, Silva apologizes to Abel, hoping to join them. Abel clarifies their criteria for selection and deems Silva unworthy. Abel turns Silva into a doll, unbeknownst to Mash, who struggles with the door and casually addresses Abel, oblivious to his true nature. Will Silva meet a fate worse than being turned into a doll? Mash finds himself in the stronghold of Maja Lupus, where he encounters Abel. Abel questions Mash's motivations for becoming a divine visionary, and Mash, in his usual straightforward manner, explains that he simply wants to live peacefully with his family. Abel reveals his belief that divine visionaries are vessels of God's divinity and can restore the world to its rightful form. He argues that humans should embrace their beastly nature and let the strong devour the weak. Quite the unconventional approach to world improvement, wouldn't you say? However, in a classic case of miscommunication, Abel interprets Mash's peaceful intentions as hostility and tries to strike a deal. He offers to let Mash go in exchange for his gold coin, but Mash, being the stubborn hero he is, refuses and a battle breaks out. Mash quickly dispatches Silva's puppet with a powerful slam, reverting Silva to human form. But then a larger puppet appears and steals Mash's coin, throwing it back at Abel. Oh, the irony! Mash finds himself stepping on Silva and decides to take him to the nurse's office, prioritizing his teammates' well-being. As Mash tends to Silva, Abel realizes something is amiss. He notices his puppet is missing a button, which he later discovers was the gold coin in disguise. One of the members of Maja Lupus, Love Cute, witnesses Mash's incredible feat of ripping the puppet button with his mouth and sucking up the coin using his lungs. It's an impressive display of coin retrieval skills, to say the least. Who knew coin retrieval could be such a talent? Silva wakes up in the nurse's office with no memory of what happened. He sees Mash exercising and wonders why they brought him there. Mash explains that when one of them is in trouble, they all share the burden, a true testament to the power of friendship. 
Back in Adler's room 302, Lance and Dodd find themselves engaged in a tense staring contest. Finn demands that they leave his room, irritated by their presence. The tension escalates as Lance and Dodd begin to argue, preparing for a fight. Suddenly, Mash bursts into the room, breaking the door, and advises them to take their potential destruction elsewhere. It seems Smash is the voice of reason amidst the chaos. Just as things settle down, Lemon arrives with bad news. She takes them to the magic scale, which displays the number of gold coins each dorm has. Lang dorm has amassed 15 gold coins, while Adler and Orca dorms only have one each. Lang is plundering the coins of other dorms, and with the absence of upperclassmen who could stop them, Adler's dorm becomes their last hope. Mash's actions require some form of reprimand, so Wahlberg assigns him to clean the owl hut for a week. Lance decides to join Mesh, fearing an attack from Lang. At the same time, two members of Majalupas, Alore Andrew and Anser Shindri, set their sights on Mesh's coin. They launch an attack, leading to a showdown where Mesh and Lance face off against their opponents. Will Mesh's swimming skills and Lance's gravity magic be enough to prevail? Can they protect their precious gold coin? We will find out soon enough in the next episode. And until then, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.